If you've gone into a business or restaurant lately, you've probably seen a sign on the window or door that said hiring is all due to a workforce shortage. One organization concerned about this is the Pennsylvania Chamber of Business and Industry. In fact, the president and CEO, Dean Barr, has called this a full-blown crisis. I'm pleased to be joined by Mr. Barr right now. Why are you so worried about this? Is it truly a crisis? This is, uh, the reason I use crisis is we've had a shortage for quite a while. A lot of that related to the demographics of Pennsylvania. We're an old state getting older, unfortunately. And as a state, we've not done the things we need to do to retain our young people and to attract new investment that will create jobs and keep people here. So we've had those shortages and we've known that and we've seen that in the surveys we've done of our members. What has happened recently has been just taking it to the level where it is endangering the health of businesses to an extent that we've not seen it before. And you note exactly, you're right, that it's most visible in restaurants. But I will tell you that we hear it from so many aspects of our membership. It's on the manufacturing side. It's on the trucking side. Yes, it's on the restaurant hospitality side, but it is all over and it's not simply jobs at the lower ends of the pay scale or beginning jobs. It is jobs paying 70 and $80,000 a year where we're having a difficult time getting people, hiring people. Uh, and I will tell you, even from the very beginning, the number one thing my members tell me, the most difficult thing in business is attracting and retaining good employees and they will pay what it takes to do that here they're just simply not getting them coming out and it is a it really is a crisis so now there was a survey done by the u.s chamber and that had some startling facts that i read uh, in a press release that you had put out so tell our viewers about this because um almost half of the population that are out of work doesn't seem like they want to return anytime soon you hit the nail on the head and this kind of hate to say it confirms quite a bit about what we had feared and we've been saying for a while that uh, there are people uh, who are staying out because in many cases they're making more unemployed than employed in fact the estimate is that roughly 40 percent of the people who are unemployed are making more money not working than working and first before we get into this let's absolutely state this Programs like unemployment compensation are absolutely necessary as a safety net for our society when people lose their jobs through no fault of their own. When you continue to stay out, even though you're offered a job back, that's unemployment, that's fraud. Fraud against the unemployment compensation system and to be blunt, fraud against taxpayers. And you note that the U.S. Chamber had done a study. It was a national study. It wasn't geared specifically to Pennsylvania. But you found, uh, as you note, roughly half the people surveyed in the study said they're not actively looking for a job. We've got about a third of the people who say they're not coming back to work until 2022. We have, I believe, the number was 16 percent who said acknowledge that they're making more unemployed than employed. A similar number uh, admitted turning down one or more jobs in order to stay on unemployment. And so these numbers are showing that this, and it's all due to this, in our view, uh, most of it due to this extra $300 a week that is part of some of the federal assistance. Now, is there some childcare concerns part of that? I I would say uh, there are some people who are still afraid of, you know, COVID with the vaccination rates going up. I think that's significantly dropping. We do need to address the child care side of it, though. But even Pennsylvania's independent fiscal office has said that in their view, in terms of studying the issue, the majority of the concern and the problems we're seeing with the workforce shortage are attributable to the extra $300 a week that will continue into early September. I know states like Louisiana have asked to opt out of the federal program. Will Pennsylvania do something like that? Have you been in touch with lawmakers? What do you do to solve this problem? We, we need to end this. First off, we're already about $2 billion in debt because of unemployment comp. Now, the extra $300, of course, comes from the federal government, so it doesn't get hit to Pennsylvania directly. But the underlying amount of money is having to be paid for by Pennsylvania taxpayers, and it is amounting debt that we're having to deal with. So we have asked the administration, we're working with legislators to try and get something to pass this. As you note, I think right now, a majority of the states have said, no thanks, we don't want the 300, we don't need it, including at least one Democrat governor, uh, the governor of Louisiana. There are some other states that have either added a return to work bonus on top of the 300 or eliminated the 300 and rolled that into a return to work. So we're willing to look at various options, but it is abundantly clear that what we are doing, unfortunately, 
is incentivizing people not to work. And we have to change that. Today's news feature is brought to you by Feisner's Ford and Freeland, who is celebrating 75 years in business. Give them a call at 570-636-3920, or you can log on to FeistnersFord.com.